congratulations to the 2018 all-around amateur, Angela Fox. <laughs> I'm Larry Joe Starkey with the American Quarter Horse Journal, your first stop for AQHA industry news, and I'm here with Angela at the 2018 Lucas Oil AQHA World Championship Show. Angela, HP the Rusty Fox, I'm going to ask you the question <laughs> everyone wants to know. Did you buy him because his name has Fox in it? I didn't. I bought him because I loved him and I fell in love with him at first sight, really, but I actually changed his name to that. He, yeah, he started with a different name, but... Um, his barn name was Rusty, so we didn't change that part, um, but he, we didn't feel like he looked like what his name was, and so we tossed around some ideas, and that one just stuck. What did you like about him from the beginning? So I was searching for a new all-around horse, and I wanted a two- or a three-year-old, big, pretty, something that loped good, and that's a little bit hard to find, um, and I got in touch with Darren Putnam at H&P Ranch, and he said, you know, I have two two-year-olds that look really nice, that are kind of what you want. And he was coming to Pilot Point anyway, and he brought both of them for me. And I had only seen a picture of both of them, and I immediately fell in love with Rusty. And he unloaded them off the trailer. And although the other horse was very nice, I said, I don't need to see that one. I only want to see this one. And I just, I mean, I, I literally loved him from the moment I saw him. So you've had a fairly amazing week. How has it gone for you so far? So really good. I mean, he's three years old. So so um, all of this has exceeded our expectations by a mile. Um, but I was seventh in the hunt seat equitation. I was third in the amateur hunter under saddle, third in the performance geldings, and um, fifth in the showmanship. So really well. That's really a large load for a three-year-old. Yeah. Did he ever show signs that he was super tired and going to quit on you or was he strong throughout um you know I ride with Jason and Charlie and Beth at a high point and we've all been real cautious being that he is so young and he's such a great horse and he's so kind and he's so uh willing and easy to work with we didn't want to push him in any event too far and ruin the nice horse that we have so all year I think we've been really you know aware of that and he really has never showed us that it's all too much. I mean, he's tired right now, and he's going to get a long vacation. Um, but I, he's still coming out with his ears up and happy to see us. So I think we're all right. Of all those rides that you've had, which one was your favorite? You know, um, I'm really proud of the Hunt Seat Equitation because it was a really difficult pattern for a young horse. I don't have the flying lead change perfected yet, but we're working on it. And so I ended up having to do the simple change, which was okay. But, um, you know, that was sort of our plan, Jason and I talked about. And I think it went well. And like all those maneuvers for a young horse, I think he did really well. So I'm proud of that. Yeah. What has been the best part of winning all around amateur? Well, it's funny, Angela Wade and I were speaking at the beginning of the week and she said, hey, you know, what are your, like, what are your goals left in, you know in horse showing and although I have a lot of them this was one of my main goals and I never in a million years expected it to be this year um and so I feel like I mean just overwhelmed and excited that that this happened this early with this horse yeah all right you've achieved this giant goal <laughs> what's for next year um, you know, we're going to add some events to Rusty and I'm really excited to start showing in the horsemanship again I, I held off although he's shows a lot of talent at it. I held off from showing this year, so I didn't add too much to his plate too soon. Um, but he's really good, and I'm excited. I love that class, so I'm excited to get back doing that. And um, Jason maybe is going to start showing him in the Western Riding, so just move forward. Is there anyone you'd like to thank? So I have so many people that I'd like to thank, and um, God, you know, my husband and my mom and everybody who helps me get to the horse shows. And I work, sorry, I work for some really great people, for 18 years that allow me to horse show and they understand how important it is to me. Jason and Charlie and Beth and Brad and everybody at High Point, Ashley and Kaylee and Adam, they're all like my really good friends aside from, you know, just horse trainers. And, and I think they all really care um, about my success. And Mirko's new to the team and he came over from Germany and all week he's been like my biggest cheerleader. And so everyone is, is so, you know, on my team and wants to help and is happy for my success, so I'd love to say thank you to all of them. Thank you to the, all of them from the all-around amateur Angela Fox. All-around amateur. You.